The aim of this lesson is to explore the artist Vincent van Gogh. So I've done a tutorial that you can watch on how to transform household items like spices, juices, okay, and other things into actual paint to use, okay? Now I did find that mixing up the spices with the back of a spoon okay help them to dissolve a little bit more so you can see it's kind of made a paste that you can water down so that you can paint with it now i'm trying to use okay red yellow and blue so from red yellow and blue the primary colors we can make most of the colors that we need to make now my yellow okay is going to be my turmeric okay my red is going to be my beetroot juice and then I'm going to cheat and I'm going to use blue as my paint. Now, if you don't have paint, you could maybe use a pencil. OK, so a coloured pencil or a felt pen. Unless you can think of something really ingenious to use um, as the colour blue. OK, so first of all, I'm just going to test what my colours look like. OK, so this is the ground turmeric. OK. So the thicker you put this on, the darker the tone will be. Okay, then we've got my beetroot juice, okay, which is a lovely magenta. Okay, now I know that isn't exactly red, but it really doesn't matter too much. And then finally, I'm going to use the blue out of my watercolour palette. Okay. Now, I said we were going to use three colours, but I think we still need to do a little bit of shading. So I've still got my coffee that I'm going to use as part of the darkest tones. OK, or if you've got gravy browning, you could use gravy browning. So there you can see the colours. So if you can remember anything about your colour theory, OK, which you should be able to do. If you mix red and yellow you should get a nice orange okay if you mix red and blue to wash this brush you're going to get a nice shade of purple I just need a little bit more of the red Okay. And if we mix the yellow with the blue, we're going to get a green. Okay. Now, any of these colours you could make darker by just adding in a little bit of the coffee. Okay, so we really can get some darker tones if we're patient with our colour mixing. So that's just the coffee going on a little bit. Now, we're basically doing today watercolour techniques. Now, watercolour techniques obviously require water. OK, now in between washing your brush, I would advise you to dry it with a bit of paper towel. OK, because every time you put water into here, it's going to get lighter and lighter in tone. And we want to try and keep what's in here clean and not too watery. OK, so that is our revision on colour theory. So primary colours, red, yellow, blue, make the secondary colours orange, purple and green. OK, and this time we're using brown or if you've got black to make the colours darker. OK, 